Well, howdy. Welcome here once again to the Double M Farm. For those of you who have been keeping up with our little spring-fed pond bill with the Harbor Freight Trencher and mini truck and Ford 1210 tractor, <laughs> give you a quick update. This side of phase one is complete. Uh, if you've been keeping up, you know I've been digging over there and got so much dirt piled up and I've got cut some trees to make room. So I moved around to this side. I've got my slope done here. Just finished scraping and leveling out the road a little with the tractor. And uh, there you see this side of the dam for this phase one part. And uh, for those of you who are going to ask, you expert pond builders, yes, I came right here and dug down about four foot deep a ditch right here through the dirt over on this back side. That's what that dirt is. And then the last dirt I dug out here, I piled up in that ditch and built it up. You see how high I built it up much higher than is needed because the water level is going to be way down here. And then in the bottom, this entire thing is uh, lined with the bentonite type soil. It's, uh, you can see it right there drying in the sun. Uh, I just scooped it up once I got down to the depth I wanted. I scooped it up with the shovel and lined that part of the dam with it and packed it. Of course, it's cracking as it dries in the sun, but it'll refresh. You can see some fresh, I hope they show up on camera, there's some coon tracks right there. They've already found it. <laughs> so uh, I'm sure they're looking forward to me having some fish in here. But this side is basically done. When we uh, go back to the other side, we'll cut out those trees. We will move that dirt over towards the fence over there. And then all of that will be dug out just like this. And I don't know if it shows up good, but you can see the waterfall right there coming from the spring, dumping, filling it up. It runs like that all the time. And so what I'll do as I dig that out, I will go over on the opposite side of the ditch right there from this dam. I will do the same thing. I'll dig a ditch and then I'll use this dirt to throw in that ditch and build up to create a duplicate of this here going that way and then that will leave the ditch here open for our spillway we will build that spillway there to raise the water level according to our survey the water level will be right there can't see for the sun but the water level will be right there as i back up the water level should be right there and curving around just about just below where you see the packed dirt on the dam, about a half a foot to a foot below where that's packed. And it will come on around, which will put it about a foot down from the top of the dirt you see here, all the way around, which means the waterfall will be underwater. I'll have to maybe put some rock in the creek further up the hill and make a new waterfall because I like listening to it. <laughs> it makes a pleasant sound because that part will be underwater. But uh, everything you see over there will be in water up to within about 10 foot of, well, yeah, about 10, 12 foot of the fence over there. So uh, this side's ready, complete, just letting it dry and we'll continue packing. And uh, then we'll start cutting some trees and uh, digging on the other side. And we'll try to get a, uh, a video of that once we get started. Got a lot of other projects going, so uh, it's uh, June, 1st of June as we're filming this. And so um, we're looking at, uh, well, it's not 1st of June, 2nd week in June. So I'm looking at a lot of uh, pasture maintenance I'm having to do. Uh, I've got uh, 60 acres of pasture over on the other farm that I'm taking care of that I've got to go and mow and do some fence work on. I've got uh, 10 horses in there. So I've got to go take care of that and uh, got several other family things going on. So 
it's kind of slowing down. I'm, I get to work on this little project probably two to three hours every other day. So please don't think that the Harbor Freight Trencher and Dumpy and the little tractor are the reason it's taking as long as it is. If I was working on it eight to ten hours a day, five days a week, I would have been through by now. But that's not the reality of it. This is a hobby farm and a project, a little homestead pond, so we're doing it when we have time to work on it. But there you go. Nice little update, I hope, on the uh, spring-fed farm pond here on the Double M Homestead. So I uh, appreciate you joining us, and I'll talk to you again real soon.